Hi, I'm Rick Barrett. Today I'd like to talk about three steps to diaphragmatic breathing. So there's a whole lot of information out there about diaphragmatic breathing and, and I'm just going to give you the, the nickel version in this. So unless you've trained a lot in diaphragmatic breathing or abdominal breathing, you chances are you are breathing with your chest muscles, your thoracic breathing. So what happens is I breathe in my diaphragm, the thick muscle at the base of my chest, presses down on my internal organs. When it meets resistance there, it, my intercostal muscles in my chest are, are cued automatically to contract. My chest expands, that creates a vacuum, which allows air to come in, fills my lungs, and then as they relax, I exhale, and I exhale carbon dioxide. So the, um, uh, that process is happening largely at a pre-conscious level. So the, uh, the advantage of diaphragmatic breathing is you're going to get two to three times as much oxygen or air per breath, and you're going to allow the uh, parasympathetic nervous system to activate and bring some balance into your autonomic nervous system. Thoracic breathing has a tendency to, to excite the sympathetic nervous system, causing the go, go, go part to kind of move into more and more of a hyper state. So whenever we want to relax or restore the energy, we want to move into more of a parasympathetic state where we allow some balance to enter into the autonomic nervous system. So as I do that, I Ah, I tend to relax a little bit more. The third thing is that it, whenever you intentionally take over control of your breathing, you move into a different part of your brain. You kind of shift out of that default mode network, which is occupying so much of your attention with the, no the endless chatter, and it allows you to move into a clear-minded space, more of a, a whole brain coherence, where there's more peace of mind uh, occurring. So it not only fills you up with more, gives you more air to, to play with, but also has a tendency to calm that, that calm your mind. So the first step to get a, awareness of that process is to take over volitional control of your breathing. And this is a simple way of doing it. There are thousands of ways to, to breathe, but this is, this is a, a, a way to get started to, to think about it too. So the, you take a, uh, as you inhale, you go inhale, two, three, hold two, three, exhale two, three, and then hold on the exhale two, three. So it's inhale, two, three, hold two, three, exhale two, three, hold two, three. And you can breathe, exhale through the nose or through the mouth, doesn't matter. And um, it matters. And, other situations for, for this exercise, it doesn't matter. So inhale, hold, two, three. Exhale, two, three. Hold, two, three. And that just allows you to bring volitional control to your breathing, okay? So there's an awareness that occurs at what's going on. You're bringing your mind to your body and allowing you yourself to feel what it feels like to actually take a breath. Since you're doing it all day at a, at a pre-conscious level, you might as well take some time and just kind of enjoy the process. And kind of celebrate each breath. Each time you take a breath in, it's like, oh boy. You kind of give yourself a give yourself an attaboy, attagirl, and, and, and say, yes, go me. And then that also allows you to generate positive neurochemicals that, that bring up your mood as well. So the second step is to calm the inter intercostal muscles. So as I inhale, I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give myself a hug, put my hands uh, around my chest, put my hands on my chest so that I can feel when the chest starts to expand. And I'm going to, as I inhale, my diaphragm presses down. I feel the resistance, but I consciously override the impulse to, to activate my intercostal muscles and continue to press down even more on the internal organs. And what that does is it massages my internal organs. It creates more space by 
creating a vacuum by pressing down inside the body, creating more internal space. My belly will expand as that happens, but my chest is quieted. So this tends to moves you into the parasympathetic. It also gives you more breath, more air per breath. So that's the second step. The third step, we're going to calm the abdominal muscles this time. So rather than the, the belly expanding, we're going to press down on the hui yin. Now the hui yin is the acupuncture point at the perineum between the anus and the, and the genitals at the base of the torso. It's called the meeting place of yin or the sea bottom. And it's where the, the yin energy is nurtured. So you do that, you breathe into the Hui Yin, and it also activates the governing vessel and the con conception vessel, as well as the penetrating vessel. So these very powerful uh, reservoirs of Qi that, that are constantly replenishing the, the meridians, they are filling up with, with energy so you're always topping off the tank. So as you do that, and it tends to, at that by bringing the body more into a Yin state, it allows you to relax even more. Okay, for step three, we're going to integrate step one and step two. So put your hands on your abdomen. So this way, it gives you some feedback as to when your abdomen is expanding. You want to continue your abdomen to not expand, but to continue to press down, straight down toward your Hui Yin. As you inhale, one, uh, inhale, two, three, hold, two, three, pressing down on the Hui Yin, and then exhale, two, three, Hold two, three. And you can do it longer if you want, but the, that gives you a, something to get started. So the idea is you're, you're inhaling and feel the pressure from on the internal organs pushing all the way down to the Wii and you actually want to feel the perineum. And then you exhale two, three, hold two, three. And so that way you're going to start to fill up the yin channels in the legs. You're going to connect up to the base of your torso. It's a place that not many of us feel from the inside. You can feel it from the outside, but to feel it from the inside, you, you, you want to use the, uh, the pressure from your breath to make that happen. Anyway, I hope this, uh, hope this is helpful. There'll be more information uh, on my blog, www.rickbarrett.net. There'll be a link on, the, on this YouTube video. and. Uh, uh, enjoy your day. Happy breathing.